welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I know it's been a minute that I posted a video, but I've just been so incredibly overwhelmingly busy having this brand new line Duart Beauty has taken all the free time any of the free time that I had left in my life um, it's taken it all away from me that's why I've been a little bit MIA on here and I really apologize I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to come on here and film for you guys I miss it so much but I'm here I filmed this video today using a bunch of uh, Dose of Colors products this new collection that Dose of Colors came out with, I love Sarai Karen. I pretty much have the entire thing on my face. I love it so much. I love the quality of the product and the colors they chose. Everything's so beautiful. Everything blends so nicely. So if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep on watching. I'll be priming my eyes with the usual eye primer that I use all the time. And that is Painterly by MAC. And as you guys know, this is what it looks like. I just can't get away from this paint pot. I feel like I've tried so many other eye primers and I always end up going back to this. And to apply this, I'm using MAC 252 brush. And I pretty much apply the primer all over the eyelids from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. Pretty much anywhere where I want to apply eyeshadow, I make sure that I have primer so that the eyeshadow has something to stick to. And this will also prevent your eyeshadow from creasing, from uh, fading throughout the day. And these paint pots come in different colors, so if this color is too white for you, they have other colors to go with your skin tone. I love this palette. I've used it a few times for a few different looks. However, I haven't recorded a video using this palette. Um, so today I'm really excited to show you guys how amazing these colors are. Um, I think I want to use like the warmer colors because I already did a couple of looks using the bright colors. And now I'm going to use the shader brush by Dose of Colors. And I'm actually going to apply this color right here all over the lower lid. I just love how pigmented these eyeshadows are. I mean, anything Dose of Colors comes out with, they freaking kill it. No doubt about it. So I get this question asked all the time. How do you do your skin first? How are you not afraid to do eyeshadow after you've done your skin? You know, from the fallout. And the key to that is, once you've dipped your brush, you want to shake off the excess because then you'll have fallout. So the key is to always go a little bit at a time. So don't fill your brush with so much eyeshadow and then try to go right on the eye. You wanna just go a little bit at a time with the product and then you won't have any fallout. Like right now I have literally zero fallout. Like, look at that, there is absolutely no fallout. And now I'm gonna take the lighter color down here and I'm gonna take a Smith Cosmetics 230 brush and I'm gonna use that nice peachy matte color all over the crease to blend any harsh lines. I love Smith Cosmetics brushes. I was just talking to my friend Denise about um, how, you know, there's companies that have brushes that are much, much cheaper and that's fine, but Typically, those brushes don't really last you a long, long time. Like, I've had MAC brushes since 2006. I'm not really done blending yet, but I want to take this color right here to add to the brow bone. And for that, I'm going to use a Crown C510 brush. You guys know I don't really use shimmery brow bone highlights that much. But I feel like this look kind of requires that because I'm using mattes everywhere else. And now I'm just taking a clean Smith 232 brush to kind of blend the highlight color and the crease color together.
And I'm actually gonna take the same color that I did on the brow bone. I'm gonna do the inner corner highlight with that. And I'm using a Dose of Colors pencil brush. This is like the perfect inner corner highlight. So Duart Beauty is doing really well and I couldn't be more happy and more proud. I am so excited every time I see people's orders and you know you guys creating looks. It's just super exciting to see everyone wearing the product because I worked so hard at perfecting the lashes for over a year. So to see everyone's feedback and everyone saying how light they feel, it's just a really, really good feeling. So for the waterline, I'm just doing a nude pencil. For the bottom lash line, where I pretty much smoke it out and smudge it, this one is Roach by Urban Decay. It's one of my favorite pencils. So I just go really close to the lash line first. Are you guys liking me doing makeup really close to the camera like this? Like you guys can see the details more. So first you do a pretty good amount of liner. So then you take a pencil brush. And this one is from Beach Cosmetics number 10. And you just want to smudge it out even more. As you're smudging, you're pretty much blending. So once you're done smudging out the pencil, you can then apply your eyeshadow of your choice. I'm actually going to do the same color I used on the lid. I'm going to do it right on top of this pencil. So pretty much the pencil, not only does it smoke out your eyes, it creates kind of like a primer for your eyeshadow. So now this eyeshadow is not going to bleed into your concealer. It's going to last longer because it has the pencil primer underneath. The pencil acts like a primer pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And it all kind of connects and looks seamless. And for my liner, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Liner. So first, I go where the eye meets on the corner. That's where I start the line. And I go towards my brow, like the ending of my brow. Like that, and then I connect. And then I start to fill the gap. Whenever you're doing a black liner like this, like a liquid or a cream liner, you want to make sure that you get like right on the root of the lashes so that when you apply mascara, there's no gap between your lashes and the eyeliner. And then right before applying false lashes, you want to do a nice thin coat of mascara, always. I always do mascara first on my own lashes before applying fake lashes because typically if you're applying a really good quality lash, you don't want to apply mascara on the false lash. So that's why you should do mascara on your own lashes first and then apply the falsies. First today I'm going to use my lashes. I decided that I want to use um, Aliza style lashes, which I've worn before. That's why they're kind of like not really in place. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to apply these lashes. I am so happy that a lot of you who have received your lashes are um, telling me how much you love them, how easy they are to apply, and how lightweight they feel. That was literally my goal. I wanted to make lashes that customers can apply easily on themselves, and so they also feel extremely lightweight. Every time I apply the lashes on my customers, I'm like, how do they feel? I want to hear the response right away, and it's always... I don't feel them at all and that just makes me feel so great because I've achieved my goal. So what I like to do is I like to actually apply glue to each lash that's going to go on the right eye. I always do right eye first. 
because I'm right-handed so I feel like I always start with the right on everything so now I'm applying the let me get really close to the camera so now I apply the outer corner like look how easy that was now I'm picking up the middle piece and it's gonna go right there like just look how easy that is. And now I'm picking up the inner corner piece. Like, that was so quick. So it is key to apply these lashes with tweezers versus just your fingers. Just gonna let the glue dry before I like mess with them. And now I'm gonna apply glue on all three pieces of the left eye. And I always just do like a pretty thin layer of glue. Like that's pretty much how much glue I apply. It's not that much. I prefer the black glue, but I can't find it right now. So white glue it is. Can I say So the reason why I like to apply glue to all three pieces and then start applying them is because it gives the glue let me get close to you guys. It gives the glue a chance to get a little tacky because you want your glue to be a little tacky. That was so easy. I just love how easy it is to apply these lashes. I mean, have you seen lashes that are this easy to apply? I'm just really curious to hear everyone's opinion about these lashes. So I get so happy when customers write me a comment or a DM and they let me know how they feel about the lashes. Like it is my pride and joy to hear everyone telling me like how they feel about the lashes. Sometimes white glue doesn't dry completely clear. So what I ended up doing is once the lashes fully dried, I took that Urban Decay, um, liquid liner and I just kind of applied it over the glue so it looks nice and seamless and now I'm moving on to the lips and I'm going to use an Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Naked. And then I'm going to move on with Nude Chica Liquid Lipstick by Dose of Colors and I Love Sarai. Uh, it's like the perfect nude. And then once this liquid lipstick fully dries, I'm going to do a little bit of the gloss from the um, I Love Sari collection with Dose of Colors. This one is called Brillo or Brillo. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it's this really pretty sheer, super sheer gloss with gold shimmer in it. And it just looks, it's one of those lip glosses that you can wear on top of any lipstick or by itself. Since I'm waiting for the lips to dry, I'm going to do like a swatch for you guys. So if you look at that, it's super, super sheer, but it's going to look really nice on top of this lipstick. And in the meantime, let's make this look even prettier and apply some earrings. So I typically, whenever I do my makeup, I don't have earrings on because whatever I apply on my face, I end up applying to my ears, especially when my hair is snatched like this because I want my ears and my face to blend. So I'll do like a little bit of bronzer in my ears and I don't want to dirty my earrings. But then at the end, I'm like, we can't have naked ears. And I'm obsessed with these new earrings that I got from um, Lulu's. I shop at Lulu's a lot, lulu's.com. Um, so that's where these earrings are from. And I think it looks so cute with this little headscarf. Um, I think my lips are pretty much dry now, so let's go ahead and apply that gloss. I love how monochromatic this look ended up being. And to set my makeup today, I'm going to use the LC Hydra Enhancer uh, Setting Spray. 
yeah and this is the final look i hope you guys liked it i am just so happy to be showing you guys my lashes with many different looks i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try my hardest to find time to film some more i've been as i said before extremely busy with do art beauty it's it's something that i've never experienced in my life before having this lash line is something that i never knew i had no idea i knew that i was going to be busy but i didn't realize how much attention and time it would take away from everything else so i hope you guys can forgive me and stick around and you know continue watching me in this journey i promise i will try to make more looks using my lashes these are one of my favorite lashes because they're long but they're not super thick so they don't hide what color shadows you're wearing you could still see your eyelids through these lashes and that's what i love the most i always wanted to create a lash that was long and dramatic but not thick where it hides your entire lid and it hides your shadow because then what's the point of wearing shadow if you're just gonna hide it with your lashes? Cause you know, let's be real, no one walks around with their eyes down, you know, to show your shadow. So yeah, and if you guys have any questions about this makeup or the lashes, don't be shy to leave a comment below. I'm gonna be on there answering all of your questions. Subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys next time.